England because this type of music is a lot more popular in England than it is here. It's American music. That tells you a lot about the state of our union. So those records all get a thumbs up from me. I'd, uh, I'd go with any one of those. Next is kind of a special record to me. You may have seen this album cover on some of the some of the album racks uh, across the country. You may not have. You probably wondered who the hell it was. A group called the Math Bats. You have to look on the back to figure that out. Now a lot of people probably have this displayed as the front, but it can't be the front because records are displayed like this with the open end over here. So this is definitely the back of the record. There's no question there. It's pretty controversial. Uh, these guys, I like the record overall. And while I'm talking about these guys, I want to talk about another record that sort of along the same lines. Uh, colorful Stylings of the Crusaders featuring the, sing the singing midget. This little guy's pretty impressive. For as short as he is, you wouldn't think he was, you know, he had enough, enough, <laughs> enough of a larynx or whatever to uh, produce such <clears throat> resonant tones as he does. But I think the midget's a gimmick, you know. I, I don't like the way they went about it. I think they're just trying to make a name for themselves by, you know, it's like, they couldn't get Michael Jackson or something like that, so they got the singing midget. Of uh, both these records, the Math Bats and the, and the Crusaders with the singing midget, I say hang on to their next record, because I think both these guys have some good ideas. They just need time to refine them. So now I want to move on to uh, my next group of records. But first, I think uh, I just have a couple words I want to sh share with some of my fans. You know, this isn't the way I wanted the show to go, okay? Uh, I think the set they give me is pretty much shit. Uh, but I've been having some health problems, you know. Uh, but it's not really that bad. It's just that, like, no one will work with me on this to an extent. And Tony, next time you refuse my phone call, I'm going to take myself, my ideas, take them to another local independent network. I just want to make that public. Because I'll do it. I will do it. Okay, we can get on <laughs> this little joke. We can get on with the rest of the review here. <clears throat> Skinny Puppy. Skinny Puppy Bites is the name of the record. Skinny Puppy sucks. <laughs> really, they're bad. Don't do it. Rick D's. Rick D's. You see him going in the toilet there? <laughs> This picture was like this picture was taken right before he actually went in the toilet. He's he's down there. This is just all the shit floating around. This is a uh, actually I didn't even have to listen to this. Okay, I, I looked at the cover and I realized this pretty much sucked. My friend Steve did a really good review on it. I think so. There's no point in me talking about it. One record I forgot to bring out for you. I'm going to ask for a little production assistance. I need the abstraction. Oh, right here. Oh, 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 okay. Oh God, it's okay. Believe me, this is no big loss. These guys are from Indianapolis, right? Really, really milk and toast, man. These these guys are pretentious. I mean, is it Hoosier artwork on the cover? Well, that speaks well for Indiana, doesn't it? I'm surprised they didn't put that Robert or that Robert Indiana thing, you know, that love. I mean, these guys are that cliched, okay? I like the back cover the most. I think that's really interesting, man. It's very provocative. I'm into it. I think it's uh Checkers, anyone? <laughs> That's all it's good for. <laughs> uh, these are, this is like a, a pet peeve of mine, this particular 45. These guys said the math bats were boring. Now, these guys calling the math bats boring, it's beyond my comprehension. These, these, they're wimps, okay? Scott Woldridge, lead vocals, keyboards. He's really proud of it, you know? Jimmy Tyrone. That's T E, capital R O N D E. Plays guitars. Brian Waldridge, uh huh, the Waldridge brothers, obviously. Are, I can smell the Waldridge brothers a mile away, anything they touch. Uh, this is this is pat. It's, 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 it's bullshit. This is really bad music. Don't listen to it. Why waste your money? Look, these last four or five items I've done, this, this is what I had. Blowing chunks. These guys blow chunks. And I thank you for coming around for this episode. And the next episode should be better.